If you knew cancer was coming, why would you wait? Why do doctors take a watch and wait approach with MGUS or monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance? Why not treat it before it becomes multiple myeloma? Well, Tommaso, this is actually a fantastic question. We are learning, of course, in cancer in general, that the earlier you catch it, the better that the treatment can be because we can reduce the burden of the cancer when it's smaller. That being said, MGUS is a unique situation where 5% of everybody over the age of 40 likely has MGUS when we look for it. And more importantly, the vast majority of those people will not develop myeloma. They'll just have this little bit of protein that's there that will never hurt them. So our effort and work has been trying to identify who has the form that is going to grow into multiple myeloma which is why we follow patients with MGUS. And then they go through a period of what's called smoldering myeloma if they're gonna become active myeloma. And that's the area we're working on very intently to determine when should we intervene and how should we intervene in smoldering myeloma so that it does not become active myeloma. But it wouldn't be easy to treat all sorts of people. In fact, we would be over-treating a large number of patients if we treated everybody with MGUS.